Oh, what's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm back with another word. Yes, your father has sent me with another one, y'all. Now, I don't know who needs this, but God says somebody needs this message. So I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? And listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. And that way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit relieves you to, don't leave without commenting or sharing the video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen? All right, now, Sammy, listen, I have already prayed and blessed this face. Y'all know how I do, right? I didn't welcome the Holy Spirit in, welcome the good Lord in. I'm still going to welcome the Lord in on camera for y'all, okay? So, Father God, we welcome you in. Father God, I give you authorization to take over. Holy Spirit, fill me up and speak through me, Father God. I am your vessel. Speak to your children. Make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, family, again, I don't know who needs this today, but God said you need this thing, so I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it encourages you. I pray that it comforts you and it blesses you, okay? Y'all, please remember to get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this is for, you got to know this word is for you, okay? This should serve as a confirmation. So God is saying right now, he said, put your faith into action. Yes. Whoever you are, your father is asking you to put your faith into action. So whoever this is for, your father has been asking you to move or to make a move, right? He has been asking you to move or to make a move and you have been crying out. You've been praying like, God, I'm so lost. I'm just so confused. God is saying right now, you are not lost. You're not confused. I have given you direction. I ask you to move. Okay, so there's no more crying, baby. It's time to start packing. Come on now. And some of you guys, is God is asking you to make a move, right? And you've been hesitant to make this move. But God is saying right now, baby, you have cried long enough. He says it's time to make this move. Or it's time to move. Some of you guys, guys are asking you to move to a different home, a different city or state, okay? Even a different country, some of you guys, okay? Uh, some of some guys, some of you guys is going to be a job or career, a different industry, okay? Whatever it is, God is saying it's time to make the move. Amen. He said, you're looking for me to help you where you are. Some of you guys are not making a move because you want to figure it out. You're like, God, I need to have everything together before I make this move. God is saying the help is where you're going. The assistance is where you're going. The resources are where you're going. I need you to make this fake move. Listen to me. Your father is saying, I need you to make this face step so I can show you. You know how, how they say how uh, if you take one step, God will take two. Right? So God is saying right now, I need to know that I can trust you with the unknown. I need to know that I can trust you with just go. Right? Remember like with Abraham, God told him to go when he told him to leave his father's house. He told, he told him to a land I will show to you. Come on now. God said, I'm looking for some children that will have the fate of Abraham. Okay. That will just move with go. You ain't got to know the city. You ain't got to have a vision or a dream of the house. Come on now. You ain't got to know the company name. God say, just start applying. Come on now. Just start packing. Come on now. Show me you have faith that I will show you where to go. God is saying right now, you have all the instructions you need. I have told you to go. I have asked you to go, baby. And you got to know, baby, if God has asked you to go, God is telling us to move, okay, or, or make a move, okay, he is going to cover you through the transition. Baby, God is going to cover you through the transition. You got to trust God through this process. I know a lot of people will tell you to trust the process. I come to tell you today to trust the God of the process. Amen. God say, trust me through the process. Though we may not know, listen to this. Though we may not know how things will end up specifically, though we may not know the, uh, the details of how everything will, will end, we do know that we win. We do know victory is ours. And we do know that things are working out for our good. As long as you know it was God's voice that said move, come on now, that told you to make that move, come on now, you know it's working out for your good. 
So I'm telling you right now, whoever this is for, God is saying right now, start packing, baby. It's time to start getting ready to move, baby. You didn't cry about this thing enough. God say, why are you still crying? Come on now. He said, I have told you to go. You crying saying you don't know what to do. It's time to go. <laughs> Come on now, God say, start packing, start getting ready to move. You crying like you don't have a God. Come on now, you crying like you don't have a shepherd. Come on, who is the Lord speaking to today? He said, why are you crying like you don't have a God? Why are you crying like you don't have a father? Why are you crying like you don't have a shepherd to lead you, child? God said, baby, you have cried enough. Come on now. He said, it's time to get up. Come on now. Pick your head up. Come on now. He said, it's time to get up and put your big girl panties on. Come on now. It's time to get up and put your big boy pants on. Uh-huh. It's time to get up and follow what God has told you. It's time to follow God's order and go. You may not know where God is sending you, but he's saying right now, I just need you to trust me with go. Come on now. I need you to trust me with go. Amen. God said, I need you to trust me with go, baby. Put that fight into action. You want to please God. We all want to please God. And remember, without faith, it is impossible to please God, baby. Put that faith out there. Come on now. What that faith do? I don't know who this is for, baby. But if you know this is your word, baby, and you ready to put that fight into action, listen, even if this wasn't your word, babe, right, just snatch that thing up off the spirit, baby. Just be ready, always ready. We want to stay ready to put our faith into action, amen? So somebody just say out loud, say, I am going to put my faith into action. Amen. I am going to put my faith into action in Jesus' name. Say that thing out loud. Then go down there in the comments and type it out. Say, I am going to put my faith into action. Come on now. And y'all know how we do it over here now. We put capital I, capital A, capital M. Come on now. This is saying by the power of the great I am. Oh, shit, boy. Thank you, Lord. By the power of the great I am, I'm going to put my faith into action. Yes, your father is saying right now, put your faith in the action and make that move. Make that move. Move that house. Move from house to where well, with the house. Move from the job. Move from that city. Move from that relationship. Okay, or uh, make that move that God is asking you to make. Make that move, not knowing what uh, uh what the results are going to be. Come on now, God say it is not a risky move. It is a fake move. Come on now, who is the Lord speaking to today, baby? You're like God. I can't risk it. God say, baby, that's not a risky move. That is a fake move. Uh-huh. You can't, you don't got it all. You can't, you feel like you can't catch yourself if you fall, but I'm telling you, if you fall, God will catch you. You better fail knowing if, if I fail, I'm falling on Jesus. <laughs> Listen, y'all, let me give y'all some scriptures and I'm going to let y'all go, okay? I love y'all so, so much. I pray this reaches whoever it is for, okay? So God led us to Micah 4, Micah 4, verses 9 and 10. Again, guys, Micah 4, verses 9 and 10, and it reads, why do you cry aloud? I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you now cry aloud? Have you no king? Has your ruler perished? That pain seizes you like a woman in labor, written in anguish. Daughter Zion, like a woman in labor, for now you must leave the city to camp in an open field. You will go to Babylon. There you will be rescued. The Lord will redeem you out of the hands of your enemies. Listen to me. God is saying right now you're crying as if you have no king, as if your ruler has perished, as if you have no God, as if you have no shepherd. He said, go. And go and trust that he will carry you through the transition. Amen. He said, go. And when you get where you're going, come on now. He said, I will rescue you and I will redeem you. Some of you guys, you're waiting for God to do it where you are. He said, I'm going to do it where you're going. Come on now. He said, I'm going to do it where you're going. It's time to get moving. All right. Listen, I don't know, uh, you know, who this is for or where you are, but I pray that it reaches you. And I pray that it, it puts the fire under you that the Lord sent me to put under you today. Because God is saying, no more can you put this off. It is time to start packing. It is time to start getting that conversation together. Whatever it is, God is saying, it's time to start getting your resume together. It's time to start filling out those applications, okay? It's time to get a passport, right? God is saying it's time to make those fake moves to let him know that you you believe in what he's telling you. You believe in the vision. You believe in uh, where he's leading you, that you trust him, right? If God is saying, I'm about to move you into a new city, and, and and you're like, well, I'm going to just stay comfortable here. I'm going to start looking for another home here. I'm going to start looking for another job here. God's like, why? I'm moving you somewhere else. Why are you buying stuff for this home when I'm moving you to a new home? 
All right? You have to make your actions will show what your fate do. Right? Even in relationship, if God is saying, I'm moving to a re new relationship, you shouldn't be rekindling, uh, upholding uh, uh, promises and things like this in the old relationship because God is moving you to a new. All right? So God is saying right now, baby, I need you to take a faith step. Put your faith into action today. All right? And get moving. God is calling you to move. All right, y'all, listen, I have to let y'all go. I love y'all so, so much. I love y'all with the love of God, family. I really, really do. I thank you guys so, so much for the love, the comments, the shares, the new subscribers, the encouraging emails. Thank you guys so, so much. All right, thank you to the new followers on TikTok. I thank you guys for being a part of the family and allowing me to be a part of your journey. I thank God for being faithful for the, with the words and always setting our tone, right? Keeping us in line for what he has for us and the path that he has set before us for he said his word will be a lamp unto our feet so i thank you father god for always being a lamp unto our feet and guys uh, all praise honor and glory goes to him all right i thank you guys uh for our sowing of seeds for the donations for the gifts that you guys have been sending thank you so so much for your generosity all right and i pray that god will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive amen it is in jesus name that i'm praying for you guys okay all right now family listen y'all go out and live a blessed life you know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing